Here we have <coughs> plotted a time series in MATLAB using uh, the plot command and when we specify the x and the y data like this the uh, MATLAB will produce a chart which looks like this. So in other words everything you see here is kind of standard default settings like the type of font and the colors and how this line looks like and all the rest of it. So, but if we want to modify this in one way or another, there, let's say we want to do something with this line. We want to have, maybe we want to have a marker everywhere. There is data point, or maybe we want to um, make the line thicker or another color or something. So there would be two different approaches we could use for that kind of the old school one would be to, in MATLAB, would be to type it after we have specified the X and Y data we would, um, we could uh, type what property we want to change like say we want to change the uh, thickness of this line for instance then we would type line width or it should be within quotes and then we would comma and then we would type how we would change it like so we want it thicker I think it's one or maybe even less it's one or 0 0.5 by default but let's change it to three okay so and then if we want to change more properties we just continue so we would type color maybe and uh, let's make it green but I did a mistake should be a comma here. Okay, so we can go on and on like this and change more and more properties. And it could produce a quite long line of code. Like maybe we need to break it up somehow. But to not make it too too long. But there is actually another approach to this and that would be to, and I remove this again, and we need to t we need to call it something or create a, um, a handle or maybe object is the correct word. We we call it something before we execute it. We just call it CO here, and uh, when I run the code, you would see down here in the command window that the I could call it anything, but the properties of CO is is listed here because I I uh, um, purposefully <laughs> didn't uh, add the semicolon, so we could see what CO is, and th this is pretty neat because now we direct can see all the properties at CO. It, we type CO dot and then any properties we have down here. Let's say we want to have uh, a marker reasons and um, I think you can uh, make a star for instance can say I like that <laughs> marker face color maybe and, uh, and here you can see by the way the color before we specify the color as a, as a letter as G for green but you can also give the color as uh, you can also give it in red green and blue these three values so then you can define any kind of color. So it would be a little maybe hard to know how it would appear, but you can always do a trial and error and see until you're happy. So now I just make up a color here. And let's see how it looks like. So a neat way to experiment with something like this would be to if you put the cursor over one of the numbers we right click and we push it on increment value and run section so I had to do it much l smaller maybe something like that oh this number is supposed to be between 0 and 1 by the way so you can see the color changes slightly RGB. This is the red color we changed now. 
And another thing, oh, by the way, I think this wouldn't work. And no, it wouldn't, because the reason is that they, it's case sensitive, actually. The uh, approach to be used before were not case sensitive, but this is. So that's good to know. Uh, so we need to type exactly like this written down here with a big S as well. So another thing we could try is to create a similar handle, kind of, or I don't know if that's the right word, but with the figure itself. So let's call it F. And okay, now we I have to type F again here. Uh, so that gives us all the properties of the figure itself. So we could similarly modify the figure. Um, maybe we could. Uh, yeah, we could give it, give it a name. Maybe not so interesting. We can. Uh, we can give it the color. F color. What should we make up now then? Okay. It become blue. The background. Co yeah, look a little bit childish. Um, I think this position actually is maybe one of the most useful things we could deal with here because that will give us the x y position of the figure and the uh, size of it, the uh, width and the height. I think. Yeah, that must be. So, and that can be very useful because sometimes we want the figure at a specific size or at a specific specific place of the of the uh, uh, screen. So yes, let's uh, let's let's elaborate a little bit with that. So let's put depends a bit how big your screen are. Oh, nothing happened because it's docked into the into MATLAB. But if I yeah so if I change the X there, it would mow the entire... It's supposed to. <laughs> um. Oh, no. So it would pop up on any other part of the screen. I don't know what happened before, but let's add some. It was way too small now, but let's make it bigger. <laughs> yeah, so you can elaborate like that and produce nicer charts. So I'm already out of time now, so we can do it.